Hey YouTube, how's it going? Brett here at uh, Poor Man's News. It is Saturday, February 25th, 2012. Um, several articles I want to go over with you guys, um, but before I do, I just want to let you know I'm not fear-mongering or anything like that. I just want to make sure that uh, you are preparing yourselves for what I believe is going to be a financial collapse here in the near future. If you are not preparing yourselves, I feel sorry for you. And I feel sorry for your friends and family. Um, you know that I always talk about stocking up on water, stocking up on food, stocking up on your guns and your ammo. Uh, but please do it responsibly. Uh, make sure if you do have kids in the house, make sure those guns are locked up. Anyway, um, to get to the news, one thing that I've ran into that they don't cover in the news, there's a farmer who uh, is facing a possible three-year prison term for feeding a community. Uh, here, it's a press release, February 24, 2012. Uh, it's over at Raw Milk Freedom Riders wordpress.com uh, over in Baraboo, Wisconsin food sovereignty activists from North America will meet in the tiny town March 2nd to support a Wisconsin dairy farmer Vernon Hirschberger and food sovereignty Hirschberger who was uh, yeah who has a court hearing that day is charged with criminal misdemeanors that could land him uh, prison, yeah, in prison for three years with fines of over ten thousand dollars. This uh, Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection, the DATCP, targeted Hirschberger for supplying a private buying club of fresh milk and other farm products. But yet we have Monsanto Corporation who was uh, producing uh, GMO or genetically modified foods which is uh, shown to be uh, really bad if you don't believe me please go and check that out uh, I believe that Monsanto Corporation is probably one of the most evil corporations worldwide anyway the DATCP has charged Hershenberger with, among other things, operating a retail food establish, uh, yeah, establishment without a license. Hirschberger repeatedly denies this, citing he provides food uh, that only paid members in the private buy buying club and is not subject to state food regulations. There is more at stake here than just a farmer with a, a few customers, says Hirschberger. It is about the fun fundamental right of farmers and consumers to engage in peaceful, private, mutually consenting agreements for food without additional oversight. Anyway, what I will do, I will link to this article for you to check it out amongst the other articles that I'm going to talk about here in a second. Uh, anything and everything that I say, I always try to document. Uh, that's pretty key because all it's going to take is for me to tell you one thing and not document it and then uh, all my uh, integrity just goes out the window sorry I got I was just reading reading the article some more uh, anyway I'll put this in the uh, below in the show more for you guys to check this out a lot of people if you go on the street and tell them about this stuff people don't believe you but a lot of people don't believe things until it's right there in their face. I want people to be proactive instead of reactive. You got to be proactive. Just like this fracking thing. This fracking thing um, that they're using to extract natural gas out of the ground is causing these earthquakes down in Arkansas. Please look into that. Uh, I know that there's a university that's looking into it now because there's been thousands of earth, earthquakes there in, uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember, 
it's like uh, the central part of Arkansas since they've started and I I truly believe that it it causes a lot more damage than what uh, what what the uh, natural gas industry is saying uh, also if if you can look into that if you've ever seen the movie Gasland that's pretty interesting um, anyone that can light their uh, tap water I <laughs> I find that pretty crazy but that that is in the movie as well or the documentary uh, let's go on to the next thing the next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was uh, Hillary lashing out you know she's lashing out at um, Russia and China uh, about the Syria situation now you know and I know last year when the uprising started over in Egypt I believe and they removed their dictator <clears throat> the rebels who were uh, who started the uprising was Al Qaeda and the Muslim Brotherhood we all know this now the uh, Al Qaeda flag is flying over in Libya which started I believe a month or two later but anyway Clinton lashes out at Syria Russia and China US uh, Secretary of State uh, US Secretary of State Hillary Clinton lashed out at Russia and China over the Syria policy Friday yeah you know what's so funny we're going after all these little small countries and occupying these small countries but look how Russia and China has done their people we never stepped up to them did we probably get our ass kicked sorry just being honest we've uh, extended our troops out so far that all it's going to take is one one big war and we're, we're going to fall apart because we're not sticking to our own business Anyway, Clinton said Syrian President uh, Bashar al-Assad will have even more blood on his hands if he don't stop the violence to allow humanitarian aid to each civilian areas his troops have been uh, shelling out for weeks. Um, but she reserved some of the harshest words for Assad's main international supporters, Russia and China who vetoed the UN Security Council resolution that would have uh, condemned him. I'll let you uh, check this article out as well. Um, I just kind of kind of find it funny. We go around trying to police the world, but yet we can't even uh, take care of our own. If we are so interested in uh, the terrorists and, and uh, closing up the borders, our uh, I mean, if, if we are so interested in the terrorists and making sure everyone's safe, why aren't we closing the borders? The reason why is because they want a one world government. That's it. They want to overwhelm us with uh, illegal immigrants coming in. I mean, just like Texas last year alone had 60,000 uh, uh, babies born, you know, anchor babies born into the U.S. But uh, but yet, we're worried about terrorists. If we was worried about terrorists, they could come in from Canada or they could come in from Mexico. Period. But yet, they're going to make us do body scans and everything else. The TSA is. Uh, they're going to police our streets and they're just going to keep cracking down on the American people. And damn it, don't ever be a free thinker. Oh, you're just a... Uh, you're just a daggone terrorist. That's what the NDAA is for. Big Brother's looking out for you. Anyway, on in, into uh, the news. Iran says military strike will lead to the collapse of Israel. Now, I've got some thoughts on this. Well, that's possible. Let's read a little bit of this article. I'll make sure and link to all of these for you guys so you can check into it. Make sure and pass it on to your friends and family as well. Print it out on your uh, on your printers and just uh, kind of hand it out. You know, 
food for thought for people. An Israeli military strike on Iran's nuclear facilities will result in the collapse of the Jewish state, Iranian state-run press TV quoted Iranian de defense minister, uh, Brigadier General Ahmad Vahidi, whatever, said on Saturday. He said, uh, the Zionist regime is on the verge of dissolution, a military attack by the regime would undoubtedly lead to the collapse of this regime. The Press TV website quoted Vahidi as saying, Now, it would not only lead to the collapse of Iran. It would lead to the collapse of the United States of America. And the reason why is because we cannot handle any higher gas prices than what, what we have now. We, we probably could. But our lifestyles would definitely go way down. Our food prices are going to skyrocket. Our uh, clothing, everything. Transportation. I mean, we live in an oil economy. But I think the true oil is probably water for the future. So, I mean, I, I want you guys to take on that as well. I'll make sure, make sure and link to this article and let you check it out see what you guys have to say about it or what you think about it um let me see here oh did you hear about the man arrested for his four-year-old daughter uh drawing a gun on a piece of paper at school yeah yeah, we definitely live in a police state now. Yeah, here's here's the article. It's over at therecord.com. It says, gun leading to dad's arrest. A plastic toy gun is blamed for the mayhem uh, that saw a man arrested at his daughter's school this week. It was found in the home, in his home, of uh, the Kitchener father who... After he was arrested over his daughter drew a gun in uh, in school on Wednesday. Jesse Sansone was uh, strip searched but not charged. <laughs> Sansone's four-year-old daughter, Neve, who had drawn a picture of a man holding a gun, said it was her daddy, triggering fears that the ho uh, family home was contained a weapon that was a threat to tr children. Uh, the school board, police, and child welfare officials say that the proper procedure was followed in the case. They said, uh, we did not, yeah, yeah, we did what we were supposed to do, said Greg, Greg Bresnick, the Waterloo Region District School Board Superintendent of Education. This is insane. You'll you'll see more and more of this coming down the road. It's a total police state, total Nazism, but yet Monsanto Corporation and all these other guys can go around poisoning the shit out of us. Uh, excuse my language. And uh, you know, speaking of that, Monsanto, I see. Uh, they're going to be uh, putting their BT GMO corn uh, to be sold in Walmart. So have fun at China Mart, guys, buying this crap. Uh, with no indication, it is genetically modified. Now, if you don't know anything about uh, genetically modified foods, please, please do your research. It's bad stuff. Uh, if you plan on uh, growing your own uh, stuff at your house, a garden, you know, without them, I don't know, kicking in your door at night or something. Just uh, try to get heirloom seeds or non-GMO uh, seeds. I, um, I guess what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put a link to that down below this video as well uh, for you to uh, go check out a place that I've been using there out of Michigan, I believe. Uh, and no, I'm not putting an affiliate code in there. I'm not getting paid for this. And uh, I never do. And I probably won't 
ever get paid doing this because uh, that's not my interest. My interest is only to uh, inform the American people and the people in the world of what is going on. Uh, that's about all I got to say. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I know I rambled on and on. Had a lot of stuff to tell you. But uh, have a good one.